So it was here on the 17th of December at the Bournier's Crossroads. And that road behind me there, the lead spitzer, Camp Group Piper, had traveled down that road after filling up at the US Fuel Reserve Depot at Bullingen. The lead spitzer close to these crossroads, an American column from Battery B, the 285th Field Artillery Observation Battalion, is coming up this road from Malmundy. Now those troops were second line troops, they weren't infantry and they weren't geared up for a fight here, especially not one against the 1st SS. The lead element from Piper's Kampfgruppe opened fire on the battery, destroying a few vehicles, causing casualties. And at that point, the column came to a halt. And after a short and very brutal firefight, the Americans surrendered to the Germans here. So after the ambush had happened and the Germans had rounded up the survivors from the battalion, they were herded into this field behind me here, along with other POWs that the men of Camp Group of Piper had rounded up earlier that day. There was about 120 of them stood in the field and they were under armed guard. Now, in terms of the rules of war, that was a permitted act, as in they needed to guard the prisoners, so they did have weapons um, trained on them. What happened next has never really been clearly defined, whether it was the prisoners who made an escape attempt and then the Germans opened up on them as a result of that, or whether Piper had issued orders to his men to just kill the POWs in cold blood. What we do know though, that after some confusion, the Germans opened fire and they did fire in to the group of POWs here. So when the Germans opened up and they started shooting into the group of POWs, some were killed outright, some lay down and played dead and others managed to uh, escape the chaos and make it back to friendly lines. Those who escaped to friendly lines were able to report what had happened here and that's when the rumours started to spread and that actually helped to stiffen the American resistance because they knew that there was no falling back, there was no surrendering. If they were going to fight the SS and fight the Germans here in the Ardennes, they either had to win or they had to die trying. So for those POWs who had seen their buddies get shot and decided to play dead here in the field, after the shooting had stopped, the Germans then went around with pistols, putting rounds into each of the bodies. So even those who thought that they'd managed to escape the chaos by feigning death, unfortunately, ended up the same way. So after the war, Piper and his men were put on trial at Dachau. The trials took place in 1946, and initially it looked like they would all receive death sentences for their actions here at Bournier in December 1944. Please give your first and last name to the court. Friedrich Christ. Friedrich Christ. Geburtsdatum und Geburtsort. Birth date and birth place. 21. Februar 1920, geboren in München. 21st of February 1920 in Munich. Welche Stellung nahmen Sie während der Eifelsoffensive ein? Militärische Hinsicht. What position did you have during the Eiffel Offensive? That is in a military uh, reference. Ich war Kompanieführer der 2. Panzerkompanie des 1. Panzerregimentes. I was uh, company commander of the 2nd <coughs> Panzer Company of the 1st Panzer Regiment. Wann haben Sie diese Kompanie übernommen? When did you take this company over? Ich habe diese Kompanie am 9. November 1944 übernommen. I took this company over on the 9th of November 1944. What was the contents of your instructions to the troops? Dass wir als Panzertruppe bei einem schnellen Vorstoß uns mit dem Einbringen von Gefangenen nicht aufhalten sollen. That we as Panzer troops, while breaking through with speed, were not to take up time by bringing in prisoners of war. Haben Sie diese Auffassung der Truppe gegenüber begründet? Did you give a reason to the troops for this idea? Jawohl. Yes. Womit 
With what? Dass andernfalls das Tempo des Vormarsches herabgemindert wird. That, if that were not the case, the speed of the advance would be reduced. Und durch das Abkommandieren von Mannschaften zur Gefangenenbewachung die Kampfkraft erheblich geschwächt wird. And by detailing crews to guard the prisoners, our fighting strength would be reduced considerably. As a result of how some of the confessions were obtained from Piper's men, their death sentences would then be altered to prison sentences and they would serve a few years in prison before then being released and able to carry on with their lives. to the 87 US servicemen that were killed by Camp Group Piper in the farmer's field just over the road here on the 17th of December 1944.